Welcome to Soltron. I know it's been a while, but I've been really busy. So I just got this figure like an hour ago and probably like everybody else who's gotten this figure, you're, there's like a real issue with this part pegging into here. And this is just like a kind of a mess. It just, it doesn't feel right. Everybody knows there's something a little bit wrong with it. And basically you can tell that this is an error because there's a little groove right here in this in this strut that's supposed to tab into this that groove right there and it just there's no way that's going to tab in you can see that's misaligned it's never going to happen um and i think most of us we just deal with this figure we just put them together like this and and he's he's mostly fine it's it's hard to tell there's anything wrong with him but if you lift this up you can tell there's an there's also an issue like this should not be like caving into his chest so there's definitely an assembly error on this figure, and I took I already took him apart because um, that's kind of what I do. So I've unscrewed this whole section, which is right here. Um, so it just takes this screw here and this screw here, but then there's an issue of this is glued. So it depends on you if you even want to deal with this, but you can just trim that part off or just wiggle it off like I did. Um, so that's the glued part right there. And you can see that this is, this landing gear is supposed to be like higher up, but it can't do that because there's like this little groove right here. You can see in this clip, oh, that doesn't really help. There you go. So you can see there's that little groove right there for the landing gear. And that groove is actually supposed to make it So the landing gear can move past this, I don't know what you call this, this clip or whatever. It's supposed to be able to scoot past it, but it just can't do it because the groove doesn't go far enough to let the landing gear pass. So there's really two ways you can fix this. And look, I'll show you specifically what I mean. We can just unpeg him. And then we can even... Just take this off and just slide that off. So there's that groove I'm talking about. That groove stops right there, which is where the landing gear kind of collides into it and just won't go any further. So first thing you could do, if you don't really want to take your figure apart, you can actually just trim the landing gear right here. And that will give you space for the landing gear to just slide past. And then everything, because this should actually be flush like this. This is how the whole thing is supposed to collapse. It should look like this. So the landing gear should be basically right against this plastic peg, but it can't do that because there's extra plastic here. So the first way you can do that is you can just trim off the landing gear right there and then he'll, he'll fit nice and snug. The other thing you can do is you can trim this, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm guessing they didn't do that because that's going to make this clip a little bit more fragile. So I'm guessing that's why they didn't do it. And then there's like this pointless mushroom peg. I don't know what the point of that is. But you just rotate this, and now you can see the groove is facing the right way. So actually, if I just reassemble this, the landing gear can actually, once it's in the right position, the landing gear will be able to shove past it. Now you can see the landing gear is in the correct place, and you can see that this is like nice and flush now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and peg this part back into his waist section. Now he's all pegged together and if I switch over sides, you can see that this is now nice and flush, which is what it's supposed to look like, and that this groove will actually tab in now. So you could tell like that's how it's supposed to look. And then when I close this shoulder, his shoulder's not gonna cave into his chest anymore because this plastic right here is blocking it. So now he's correctly assembled and everything looks good. And you would think, okay, well, that's an easy fix. You could just disassemble this, rotate this clip around, which is meant to rotate for some reason, and that's going to fix your issue. And then you can see the landing gear is nicely nested right in the groove. Everything's nice and perfect. Um, unfortunately, this that's not going to be enough to fix the issue because when you try to transform him back into a, to vehicle mode, his head is now not going to have the clearance that it needs. 
Now this clip being faced the other direction is now going to get in the way and will not actually let his, his helmet fit in. So now you can see this is taking up space in the fuselage. So this actually will not snugly fit. So that's actually not gonna fix your issue. But if you just wanna pose him for robot mode, yeah, that's fine. You don't feel like transforming him. You can just flip this around and done. Very simple fix. And then just to demonstrate how it's supposed to look. Now you can see that gives the helmet a little bit more space to fit everything in. And that's how it normally transforms. It gives this box a little bit more space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Dremel bit and I'm just gonna cut the channel of this, of this clip. I'm just gonna cut it deeper. And this is probably a pretty risky move. Like I said, it's that's probably why they didn't do that in the first place is they found out that that causes um, like a stability issue. But you can also use an X-Acto knife. But like I said, if you're adverse to possibly breaking this clip, you should definitely just trim the landing gear right here and that'll give it space. Okay, as you can see, I trimmed that channel to make it much longer. I actually ended up just using the X-Acto knife because this is actually nylon, which is very hard for Dremel bits. So now I'm just gonna reassemble him and see if, if that fixes my issue. So I'm gonna put the backpack onto here. I'm gonna put the landing gear in place and then this should all just slide. Yep, you can see the landing gear is sliding right where it needs to go. And then I'm just gonna be, I should be able to collapse everything. Oh, I gotta get this shoulder pad out of the way. And then it looks like everything is collapsing nice and clean. So if I check the other side, I can just peg in his torso now. And then it looks like everything is nice and clean now. And we get the, this lines up with that, that groove now. Everything's working. So that simple. I just increase that channel and you can, you can see I actually overdid it. It really only needs like a millimeter. It's very close. So I really overkilled it. So it just needs a, that little bit of trim. And now he's nice and flush. Everything's fitting together. Hope that helps somebody out. Um, yeah, definitely do this yourself, but just, just don't trim it like I did. I way overdid it. All right. I'll see you next time.